Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I want to cover how to use Google Maps API service in Python. All right, so Google Maps service is probably the most uh, widely used online map service. Uh, so pretty much everyone uh, have used Google Maps at some point. And the Google Maps API platform has actually quite many services that you can use. So in this video, I want to cover some of the most important things uh, in this video, as well as how we can use Google Maps API services in Python. So let's start with uh, the Google Maps API platform. And I'll go straight to the point. So if you go to developers.google.com slash maps uh, slash documentation, here, let me go to the documentation page. And right away, you're going to see uh, the Maps platform offers quite many different services. And I think this is where a lot of people got uh, scared because they don't know which one to use. And to be honest, I haven't found many good information, whether online or on YouTube, that covers at least a good amount of information when it comes to using Google Maps platform in Python. So when it comes to Google Maps platform, we have different, uh, different categories of services that we can use. We have routes, which covers these three uh, API services. Directions, distant matrix API, which calculate the travel times between two places or multiple places. And roads API, which uh, provides you with the uh, map direction. And we have places API, uh, category, not API, uh, places category. And on the places category, we have uh, these numbers of Google Map API services industry solutions are basically uh, use cases and the maps category. I think this one is the most widely used uh, category. Now let's cover um, the pricing. I think this is one of the most important aspects when it comes to uh, using Google Maps uh, service. So Google Maps API is actually pretty expensive. But fortunately, with Google Maps API service, Google will give you 200 free credit every month. So you can use up to uh, $200 worth of service users. After that, you have to pay uh, based on the uh, service that you're using. Then the pricing tier will be a little bit different. So here, let's go down to pricing. For the map services, so we have static maps. And for mobile, it's free. I think because Google is trying to collect information from mobile users when it comes to study the behavior on how users use uh, Google Maps on the mobile device. And these are other APIs that you can probably go to the information on your own. Uh, let's take a look at the routes. So routes is a little more uh, expensive than the other two categories just because um, routes requires uh, live data from Google server. So if we see the pricings, uh, for directions, it's five dollars per one thousand requests. Uh, for the speed limits, so right now this one is new. Right now, you can use Google Maps APIs to determine the speed limit of uh, certain roads or certain uh, places, and the API costs twenty dollars per one thousand elements. And they will have places. I think this one is also pretty expensive. And that's for the pricing. Now I want to cover how we can use Google Maps API service in Python. Now let's go to documentation. Under documentation, let's go to one of the uh, APIs that the Google Map Python client supports. And I know distance matrix API is one of them. So let's go into that. If I want to use Google Maps API, there are two different methods. One is to web services, which uh, is what Google prefers. Basically, you are just passing a URL and making a request code. And the other method is we can use Google Maps SDK or client libraries. And the client libraries currently supports uh, Java, Python, Go, and Node.js. And these are the seven API services that the Google Maps client supports. So Direction API, Distant Matrix, Elevation, Geocoding Places, Rows, and Time Zone. And for other API services that are not included in this list, then you'll have to make a web code using the requests library. Now we know what API services the Google Map client library supports. Now let's go into our Google Cloud Console. So before we can use uh, those services, we need to enable the API. 
So under the navigation menu, go to APIs and services and go to library. And I know the easiest API to use is geocoding. So I'm going to search for geocoding API and go into the service and make sure that the API service is enabled. If I'm using other uh, services such as distance matrix API, then you have to uh, enable those API services individually. Here, let me just enable the API service. Once we enable the Google Maps APIs we want to use, now we need to get the API client key. So unfortunately, you cannot use our OAuth to authentication method to access the API. Uh, you have to provide an API key to create, or if you have an API key created, you can go to navigation menu, APIs and services, go to credentials. Under the API keys, so here I'm going to copy my API key. So let's grab the API key and uh, paste into our Python script. So here they have a, a script created. I'll name this API key, uh, API key uppercase. So here I'm going to uh, import the library by typing import Google Maps. And if you don't have the library uh, installed, you can use the command pip install, oops, pip install Google Maps, phase straightforward. And to construct Google Map client object from the Google Maps library, want to reference that client uppercase C. So want to uh, access this method. And we just need to provide the API key. And we'll name the output map client. Now if I highlight these three lines and run it, and if I use the, uh, the function to print the attributes and methods of the map client object. If we look at this list, so here uh, from the map client object, we can now access uh, these numbers of API services. So geolocated, geocode, find place, directions, uh, distant matrix. So that was the one we were looking at, Elevation API service. Now I'll give you an example on how we can use the map client object to use, let's do, let's use geocoding service. So geocode. So we'll use this service and with the map client object. So from map client object, want to reference geocode and that's the API service that I want to use. And the geocode service requires an address. So here let's uh, create an address. And here I'll create a variable called workplace address. Now I'll insert my old uh, workplace address, one market street in San Francisco, California. And we'll pass this address to the geocode method. Oh, and here let me import the ppprint function because the response is not going to be pretty. And let me import the function first. And I'll name the output response. Now if I highlight these two lines and run it, I'll print the response object by using the ppprint function. And based on the response object, so here's the result. With the geocode API service, so we have uh, address component. So the first component is the uh, is the address number, street name, South Beach is actually a neighborhood name right here. So it gives the type and street number. And route is just the street name, city, and so on. And if I want to grab the geocode, I need to reference the geometry key. And if you notice that the response object actually returns as a list. So we need to, oops, should be, so here I'm going to use the print function. I'll insert the response object. And it's going to be the first record. 
So I don't know why uh, Google makes this alert. I think because uh, later on with uh, newer updates or newer version, uh, we can finally insert multiple locations or addresses. Right now, I know for fact that we can only insert one address at a time. Now I want to uh, reference the first record and followed by the key value. So it's going to be geometry. And if I run line 11, that will print the location value. From the value, we'll have letter 2, longer 2 value, location type, uh, field pool. So that just means that uh, these are the corners facing different uh, directions. So this is everything I want to cover in this video. And hopefully you guys found the videos for.